All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome to the video. Here's the situation I'm dealing with right now. I'm about to walk into Men's Warehouse and pick up a suit that I have to wear this weekend for a wedding that I'm standing up at. Here's the thing, though. When I got measured for the suit, it was a few months ago. It was the day before my photo shoot when the cut was ending. I was 20 pounds lighter when I got measured, and I'm 20 pounds heavier now that I'm about to try the suit on. So I've been nervous for this moment for the past couple weeks, but we'll see if this thing fits. I gotta wear it Saturday either way. Told me, son, you could be anything Long as you spread your wings I know one day you'll be great Just wait, soon you'll aim up at the sky And I'll watch it float away So it fits, it's good, it's good news I was literally worried, I've had dreams and nightmares About it not fitting However, the quads, the pants Are the tightest pants I've ever owned in my life So I get a 90% chance that they're gonna split While I'm dancing, or drinking, or a combination of both Well, that was a fail. I tried to do like a drive away clip. I thought I was about to run my camera over with the truck. Wow. All right, so, you want a little closer? No, I can't, because then you're cut off. I think because I've never had rented a rented suit before. They have these adjustable straps right here. I think they adjusted those for me, which is pretty nice. Now, the waist oh, a little snug. Oh boy. A little snug. Neck. What? Those are Hey. I've never heard of extra slim pants before. These are extra slim pants. Look at that quad. That's as tight as it gets. Look at that pocket. It's like you have leggings on. That's, th honestly, all right, this is, this is as far as I can squat. I'm not even kidding. That's as far as I can squat. Oh, God. That's as far as, that's like a bodysuit. It, like, it holds right there. Try to, do, try, try to floss. Well, flossing doesn't really require. No, it doesn't. Floss. You have to floss. Floss! <laughs> <laughs> so on the way to the warehouse this morning, I wanted to stop at a potential current warehouse for the gym equipment. So like I've talked about in previous videos, because we're running out of space at our current place for inventory, the gym is just taking too much space up that's not making any money. So it makes sense to move the gym equipment out, fill the rest of that space with inventory and industrial shelving, which we already have on order, and then move the gym equipment somewhere more economical. So this right here, 1,600 square feet, which is in the middle of like fields and farms in Central Texas. It's like 10 miles from our current location, but this would be perfect for what we need if it's the right price and if it makes sense. So like, as you can see, a few parking spaces here. Um, it's like 1,600 square feet, one big garage door, gym would be in there, one small office, which we wouldn't use. Really, we just need a place to store the gym equipment that we can still use and it's close to our current place. So yesterday we were in Dallas, Texas all day at our manufacturing facility, took Preston for the first time, but on the way home, we listened to a Joe Rogan podcast with Tom DeLong. Tom DeLong from Blink-182, the craziest shit I've ever heard in my life. Well, if either you he's right or it's the craziest thing you ever heard, but some people are saying he's right. That was alien conspiracies. Some, a lot of people have probably already heard his, this podcast on Joe Rogan. Um, but I thought the best part was when he was at an airport and the random guy <laughs> came up and sat next to him and said they found a uh, life form in the Cold War. If you guys haven't checked out this podcast yet, I highly recommend it. It's an entertaining piece for two hours. But now we're going to look at warehouse option number two for gym equipment. Even if it's because I don't fucking care. A lot of people think when they're looking for warehouses, they just see like the price per square foot and then that's what you you pay. So like if this one says 20,000 a year um, and then it says triple net, it's not just gonna be 20,000 a year. It's sometimes it could be, end up being like 27, 28,000 cause you're covering all the operating expenses and things like that. So it's the same with retail. So that's gonna include like the property taxes we have to pay for, um, what else do we pay for? Other taxes, maintenance. maintenance. Cam, they call it. 
So all that, all that stuff, it adds up. And that's why it gets expensive in commercial real estate. But yeah, that's something you gotta look out for. Oh, stop. So we're not adding that much more, but we're adding two more initial shells over here, two more over there. So it adds like, let me do the math really quick. The calculation is 32. It makes room for 32 more pallets. You didn't put it, you put yeah, it. I did. Let me see. Look. Um, you gotta go like multiple. Yeah, I know, I got it. This is the worst part. No, oh, that was an easy one. The beauty of having a new blade is that it literally goes through. We've learned the advantages and disadvantages of doing stuff like this. The new blade is an advantage. The we'll pull it. So right now we're prepping for Black Friday because we have, I think 20 to 25,000 units on order that are coming in within the next, next eight weeks. So we're pretty stocked up for Black Friday, but we're also anticipating post Black Friday because what happened last year is that we were stocked up. We empty all of our inventory on Black Friday because the sale was massive. So many people came to the site and then there was a 12 week lead time to restock on inventory. So we're doing Black Friday big again this year. We have POs placed in preparation for Black Friday and post Black Friday. So, gotta make room. All right, so it's all complete. So now all of this, we have space for inventory, which increased our um, shelving capacity by 272 square feet and reduced our gym space by 272 square feet. So the go-to right now on the build is Jimmy John's. Me and Seth have been doing Jimmy John's probably once a week, once or twice a week. So my go-to is I get the number 12. This is turkey, avocado, provolone, mayo, I love their bread. And then I'll eat like half a steps because she's not on the Normally build. Normally I get the unwitch, but today I'm feeling naughty. <laughs> Ooh. Steph had to run into Walgreens to get some dishwashing detergent, then I couldn't wait. I used to, I was a frequent visitor of Jimmy John's when I was in the army. I would leave work, I'd stop at Jimmy John's, I get the gargantuan, gargantuan, I get that huge sub, and I go to the gym. So this is my pre-workout meal. We're sending shipments to Amazon right now. John was getting some shipments out. We ran out of ink, so that's the one thing, going to get ink. Uline doesn't carry ink, so if you're listening to this Uline, go get ink, because the closest Walmart's like 10 minutes away, so. Had to get some of that, and then we print on these uh, labels where it's like peel and stick, so you peel them, stick them on the box, and then we send all this protein to Amazon FBA. Speaking of protein powder, we're giving away one year's worth. We did this last year. We're giving one year's worth of protein powder away to one person. So the entry is about a week and a half left still. All you have to do, I'll put the link in the bio. You go to the link, you follow BPN subs on Instagram, you enter your email on the link below, and that's it. And then in a week and a half, we'll choose a winner. You get to choose your, your flavor options, but you get a year's worth of protein powder. Actually, Preston and I filmed a little promo video. I'll include it here, because it's pretty funny. We did a promo video for that year's worth of protein giveaway. Every single year, 100,000 people lose their gains due to insufficient protein intake. Don't let that happen to you. And we're here to help. Because here at BPN, we're giving away a year's worth of protein powder. Here's how you enter. Go to the link in our bio, follow it. Follow BPN subs on Instagram, fill out the information, enter your email, shake me and you can win a year's worth of protein powder. Let's go! Woo! Yeah! So option three for the day, we're gonna check out this. It's an awesome space that just came, became available at the very end of our complex. It's big, it's probably 8,500 square feet, but really high ceilings, all distribution. It's even got a loading dock, which is really it would be the winner for us. Um, plus it would fit our equipment, so. Maybe they'd be cool with us moving, I don't know. So here's like the main reason, not the main reason, but one of the, the big advantages of, of moving into this spot that we're looking at, it has a loading dock. We don't have a loading dock right now, which makes it difficult to, we'll get deliveries and pickups, Amazon, 
freight stuff. Now this would be ideal. The warehouse space is probably around 10,000 square feet, plenty of room for our gym, more inventory, and like what we're trying to do. However, once they see what we did to that floor, they're gonna be fucking pissed because <laughs> we messed that floor up with gym flooring and adhesive. It's pretty bad. We're, we're definitely not getting our security deposit back. Today, the build program calls for back and we're doing deadlifts, we're gonna do a five by five. Right now I have 495 on the bar. We'll see how the first set feels and then adjust the weight based off of that for the remaining four sets. So 495, five reps, deadlift. Based off of 495, we're gonna move up to 515. One, two, three, four, five forty-fives, a ten for five reps now. So the next exercise, we're gonna do some accessory stuff for deadlifts, working on lower back. This works lower back, your posterior chain, hamstrings, glutes, these are hyper extensions. I'm using a GHG. We're gonna do four sets, 15 to 20 reps. So you can keep your, your legs straight. You're gonna hold it, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your hammies. All right, so I wrapped up the rest of the back and biceps workout. If you guys want to try the first week of the build program for free, I'll link it below. Uh, just follow the link. You can get a downloadable version very quickly. It's the first week, which is the GVT 10 by 10, which prepare for your back to be wrecked. So download it if you want to try it the first week. Now we're heading home. All right, guys, so grilling chicken, making some dinner. We leave for, we go to Pennsylvania tomorrow for the wedding, that's where it's at, Lancaster, Pennsylvania. So we'll be there for the weekend. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.